Today, Ryan and I are testing out the N2 night vision binoculars from D-Soon. Although primarily used for hunting, we want to see if these binoculars can also be used for birding. Hey everybody, Derek here from Badgerland Birding. Today, Ryan and I are going to try out these D-Soon night vision binoculars. Uh, we have the batteries for them. It takes six batteries that we're going to put in, and then we're going to put in the micro SD card too. And we're going to try to get some footage during the day, and then try to get some footage of some birds at night. So let's get these batteries in, turn it on, and see how it looks. A little 32 gig, that's pretty nice. There we go. Cool. So with this, I'm thinking we'll put it on the tripod, and that way it'll be as steady as possible. So let's fire it up. If you want to come around, we can look in the screen together. So we'll hold the power button. Ooh. It's kind of a nice display screen. So we can focus in here, and then this is for different infrared settings. So that's our night vision right there. And then we have different modes too, and then we can take pictures and videos. So now it's actually recording a video. And there's a lot of different settings too. So we'll test out a couple different ones. Click it again, turns the video off. You can also go to picture mode. So let's mount it on the tripod and then we'll see if we can get some videos of some cool stuff. How excited are you to try these out? I'm pretty pumped. Like night vision plus birds is just a really cool combination. Do you feel like some kind of spy? A little bit, yeah. We're, I mean, we kind of spy on the birds all the time, but like we're a little more stealthy this time with night vision. After finding a couple of species that were shy, we were able to get our first looks at birds through the night vision binoculars when we found a flock of cedar waxwings. I'm getting them in the more of the daytime setting. And I just moved. It's still like pretty far away. Ooh, there's night vision. You can actually see the outline of the waxwing better in night vision, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Further down, we also got to test out the night vision binoculars on some sandhill cranes. I'm gonna switch the settings to 1080p, so higher quality. There's a couple other settings here, like time and date, format, and you can restore the factory settings too. interesting because that's kind of during the day so we'll see what it looks like when it's actually nighttime if it helps yeah let's change it to uh non-night vision i'm curious about what this is going to look like when it's full on dark because right now you can kind of see them with your own eyes during the day and you're not getting a ton of contrast but i feel like when it's just pitch black the image on here is going to be so much better than what you see that it'll really be useful all we have to do now is wait for that sun to go all the way down. As the sun started to set, we found a few more animals to try to look at with night vision. Just got some surprise night vision bat footage, so that's pretty neat. That's kind of one of those things where if I just had my regular camera, I don't know if I'd bother trying to film it, but with the night vision, it looks pretty cool. It definitely ups that contrast. And there's two of them just flying around. We actually found a barn swallow nest and I saw that there's chicks in it, so we're going to use the night vision to look at the chicks without disturbing them. So let's turn it on. There we go. And let's zoom in. There we go, so we're zoomed in. Uh-uh. You can see their little eyes. That's on blink. <laughs> it's pretty dark out right now, so with the naked eye, there's really no way that you would be able to see these, and we'd pretty much have to use a flashlight. So I'm glad that we have the night vision binoculars so that we can at least take a view of them without having to blind these birds. Later on, without any sunlight, we went to a local park to try to see mallards with the binoculars. We're here at kind of an urban area, and we did find some mallards, so we're going to look at them with the night vision and see with how they look. There you go, there's our mallard. So no night vision. Night vision. It definitely, you can see the silhouette a lot more. For being night vision, that actually has pretty good detail. You can see where some of the patterns would be on the duck. Probably useful if you had like a night bird, like an owl or a woodcock. 
Feeling satisfied with our Mallard views, we decided to head out. The following day, I had some additional thoughts about the binoculars. Some final thoughts on the night vision binoculars. They were really cool to use, really fun. Uh, some pros to them is that the contrast is really good at night. So if you're looking for something like owls, we didn't see any, but hypothetically, if you knew one was in a tree, you could turn your night vision on and it would help you locate them. So I'm excited to try that out. Uh, maybe later in the year, maybe in the winter when there's less leaves on the trees and we could actually get some owls calling and uh, try to locate them. Uh, additionally, it's not too expensive, about $140 on Amazon. And it's really cool that you have the photo, video, and playback modes on screen. Because even for any binoculars to have that, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, some cons, it does take six batteries, which is a lot. Didn't test it out enough to see when those would fail, but I mean, it's kind of a pain to be changing that many batteries in and out. But like I said, I don't know how long it would take for those to run out. Uh, additionally, the zoom is digital zoom. So it only has the four times zoom, and really if you are using digital zoom, it just makes it a little blurrier. So you're almost probably better off using the regular mode and then cropping it. Um, so it doesn't have a huge zoom capacity. Most binoculars, you know, you're kind of limited in that sense. So I think it's great for specific situations. Really excited to try it in the future. And uh, thanks so much to DSoon for sending it. It was fun giving these binoculars a try, and we're excited to use them again in the future. If you're interested in purchasing the N2 night vision binoculars from DSoon, you can do so using the link in the description below, and also get 20% off products from DSoon at checkout using promotional code BADGERLAND. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding.